Hello everyone from Austria. I'm Shohei Mori from Graz University of Technology. Today I'm going to talk about our work exploring suit weight in augmented reality extended displays. This work was a joint work with three researchers at different universities. Augmented reality enables virtual displays to extend the display areas and provide more helpful information than the solo device. This picture illustrates how an implementation of such displays could be. This is a virtual display anchored to the physical reference. This means it's only seen through an additional display device such as head-mounted displays. That is, such virtual displays are private and free from physical materials. But today we are going to talk about its weight. You can find much literature on such virtual displays and find those implementations effective in terms of the performance in various tasks. However, none has discussed its weight, or more precisely, how we feel the weight even though virtual displays are physically weightless. So we are the first to investigate this aspect. When you look for literature on haptics, especially on weight sensation, you'll find much evidence on how the virtual uh, visual appearance of an object can change how we feel the weight of the thing. Size weight illusion is perhaps the most famous phenomenon we experience on a daily basis. Importantly, those weight illusion occur similarly in virtual reality and in augmented reality. What makes our dif ours different from the previous work is that our virtual displays do not change the device's appearance but they just follow the motion of the physical device the user holds. The motion of the visual stimulus also has an impact on weight, especially delays between the ideal motion and actual motion are known to have a relatively strong impact. We also investigate this regard. So, our research questions are do we feel the weight of the weightless virtual displays? And to find quantifiable factors and to clarify the relationship. In this study, we investigated two factors. The first is the layout and distance from the reference device the user holds. The second is the delay, as mentioned before. And we attempt to fit curves with the obtained samples to quantify the relationships between the perceived weight and those factors. We conducted two within subject studies. The users saw the world through a video see through head mounted display to guarantee a wider field of view in augmented reality. Before starting the main experiment, Participants were trained to move the device regularly to ensure the suit weight in a common condition among participants. The participants repeatedly observed a reference which is 100 in magnitude and a stimulus in each trial and reported the magnitude verbally. The top right figure shows what the participants saw in the experiments. The virtual the virtual stimulus was a uniformly colored virtual display mockup. To keep the tempo of the motion, we placed a metronome. In the first experiment, we randomly placed a virtual object at one of nine locations. The participants compared the device without an augmented reality uh, overlay and with an augmented reality overlay. In experiment 2, we designed artificial delays and randomly showed differently delayed virtual displays at either of the three locations indicated by the blue dots. This video shows how experiment, experiment 1 was conducted. The subsets of the augmented reality views show some of the locations given to the virtual visual stimulus. The score data were analyzed using a two-way ANOVA, with distance and direction factors. The main effect of the distance factor was significant, so the greater distance results in a lighter feeling. However, the main effect of the direction factor was not significant. 
we found the quadri quadratic function fits the best for this result. This video shows how experiment 2 was conducted. The subsets of the augmented reality views show some of the given delays. The score data was analyzed using a two-way ANOVA again with delay and direction factors. The main effect of the delay factor was significant. So the longer delay induces a heavier feeling. However, the main effect of the direction factor was not significant. We found the sigmoid function fits the best for this result. So let me summarize our findings. We have found that distance and delay matter to the augmented reality extended displays weight. Also, we provide a way to design either lighter or heavier displays using the fitted curves. We actually see similar findings in other literature that investigated suit weight in augmented reality. Still, we find, uh, we find it interesting that the virtual displays float in the air and does not change the properties of the physical display itself. We observed that the controllable range of the weight is limited, by, limited and saturated when given extensive distances or delays. From the user's comments, we consider that the weight might depend on how reasonably the user extends their body image when using the device with a virtual extension. Thank you for your attention.